just the two of us. Kate shares a blanket with the Queen during their first ever joint engagement at King's College London. The Queen and the Duchess of Cambridge have arrived for their first ever joint engagement. Kate, 37, and the Queen, 92, shared a blanket in the back of the car as they pulled up at King's College London, where they will reopen Grade 2 listed Bush House. The Duchess was elegant in a grey Catherine Walker coat, believed to be a new beast poke addition to her wardrobe, which she teamed with her new favourite 510 pounds giant Vita Rossi block heels and a black mulberry clutch. In a rare move for such an outing, Kate, 37, completed her outfit with a hat, which is likely to be a sign of respect to the monarch. It is the same hat she wore when out with the Queen and Leicester in 2012. Meanwhile the Queen, 92, plumped for a rose pink cashmere coat by Stuart Parvin and matching Rachel Trevor Morgan hat with beautiful floral detailing at the brim. Although they have carried out a handful of public visits with other members of the royal family, it was the first time that they have been on one together in public, outside of Buckingham Palace. In 2012 the pair visited Leicester as part of the Diamond Jubilee tour but were joined by the Duke of Edinburgh. However they did make individual stops on the schedule without him, including watching a student fashion show. Keep it chic like the Duchess of Cambridge and Catherine Walker. Catherine Walker is a go-to for the Duchess of Cambridge on big occasions, so it was no surprise she turned to the London-based label to dress her for a rare joint engagement with the Queen in London today. The fit and flare shape of this grey coat dress is classic Kate. And we love the contrast collar. The buckled belt shows off her figure perfectly, and when teamed with black tights, her new favourite giant Vita Rossi block heels, a black mulberry clutch bag and a matching headpiece, it's a very sophisticated look. It's a new addition to Kate's wardrobe, and it looks like it was made just for her, but click, right. To find out more about Catherine Walker's designs. Or go grey in one of the dresses we rounded up to help you recreate this look. How sweet is the contrast colour on this M&S option? The outing took place in March, shortly before William and Kate's first wedding anniversary. Later that year the Duchess of Cambridge joined the Queen at Fornham and Mason for an event launching a military initiative, where they were joined by the Duchess of Cornwall. Today the Queen and the Duchess of Cambridge appeared in excellent spirits as they arrived at Bush House, which previously served as the headquarters for BBC World Service but is being leased by King's College London. It marks the newest building as part of the university's Strand campus. Kate and the Queen could be seen sitting with a blue blanket over their laps as they arrived in the back of a car. There was much fanfare, with well-wishers crowding outside the gates to the building and some even standing on bollards in the hope of getting a better glimpse of the royals. Following royal protocol. Kate waited for the Queen to leave the car before exiting the vehicle herself. She continued to walk behind the monarch as they made their way into the building. Opening a new wing of the university, the royals were shown demonstrations from staff and students working on robot technology. As she shook the robotic hand, Kate giggled and said, very nice to meet you. When it gripped her hand back, she laughed and said, 
looked so strange. The Queen looked slightly alarmed when the hand came near her and decided not to grace it with a regal shake. The royals arrived together in the Queen's Bentley and were greeted by Lord Christopher, Chairman of Kings and former Private Secretary to the Queen, her most senior advisor. He was ousted in a palace coup two years ago but remains close to the monarch. They were taken up to the 8th floor where they met donors, supporters and old alumni of the university who had contributed to transform the former BBC World Service at Bush House to a new faculty. Outside on the terrace which overlooked central London, Kate and the Queen both remarked on the impressive view. Meeting a group of builders, Kate said, do you all still get on? What a mammoth project this was. But it was meeting staff and students from the university's robotics section that really captivated the royals. Matthew Howard, head of King's Robot Learning Lab, said, it's a Sawyer robot and it's designed to learn skills by copying the behavior of people. The sensors can be built into clothing and can pick up muscle activity as they can be made with metallic thread. It picks up the EMG muscle activity and transmits it to the robot and tries to copy what the person is doing. Sam was moving his hand so the robot moved its hand. The Duchess grabbed the hand and then Sam tensed his hand so it felt like a handshake. Later, Kate will visit the Foundling Museum to understand how it uses art to make a positive contribution to society by engaging with vulnerable and marginalized young people. The museum tells the history of the Foundling Hospital, the UK's first children's charity and public art gallery. Kate, who visited the museum in 2017 is expected to view Bedrooms of London, a photography exhibition that documents the living conditions of London's most disadvantaged children.